So you're thinking about moving to Sherwood Park? Well, guys, you have stumbled on the right video today because today we're talking about everything that you need to know about living in Sherwood Park, Alberta. This video is gonna be split into three different parts. Now, the first section of this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the general information that you need to know about living in Sherwood Park so that you can make the right decision for you and your family. We're gonna be going over population size, household income, average home price, the second part of this video, we're gonna be looking at the pros and the cons. Now we know that not every city is for everybody. We all have our different preferences and what we're looking for in a city. So we're going over the pros and the cons so that you can weigh those against your preferences and know if Sherwood Park is the right city for you. And the third section of this video, we're gonna be diving into Google Maps and looking at a map tour of the city of Sherwood Park so you can have a more visual representation of what it would be like to live here. So make sure you stick around to the end of the video for that. Guys, my name is Brian Garside. I am a real estate agent here in Edmonton, and I get calls and texts from people every single day, just like you, looking to move to Edmonton from these more expensive cities like Toronto, Vancouver, Victoria, Montreal, the States, and even overseas. So if that sounds like you, then go ahead and get in touch with me. I'm gonna have all my contact information in the description to make it easier for you. Now, without further ado, let's dive right into the video. Now, let's jump right into the general information that you need to know about living in Sherwood Park. Now, the first thing that you want to know is the size of the city. Now, Sherwood Park is generally classified as part of the larger Strathcona County. Now, Strathcona County is split into two different aspects, the urban part, which is basically Sherwood Park, and the rural part, which is everything outside of that. Now, as a whole, Strathcona County has about 100,000 residents as of 2021, and 72,000 of those live in Sherwood Park. Now, that's a great size for a medium-sized city if you don't want to be in the hustle and bustle of a city like Edmonton, but you still like to have all of the major amenities in the city that you're living in. We see that the average household income in Sherwood Park is just over $180,000. That's the highest of any of the cities in the Edmonton metro area. One thing to know about Sherwood Park is that 60% of the people who live here in Sherwood Park have lived here for 10 years or longer. Now, does this mean that it's probably not very welcome to newcomers? I, I don't think so. I think what that means is that when you end up coming to Sherwood Park, you really find the value in what it has there in the city and that you're more likely to stay for a long time and put down your roots. So if you move to Sherwood Park, don't be surprised if you end up staying there for 10 years or more. Another thing to know about Sherwood Park is that it's about 70% single family homes. You're not gonna have as many apartments, townhomes, duplexes as you might see in other cities, but we still have about 10% apartment residences as well. One of the other things to know about Sherwood Park is that the most common age in the city is 35 to 44. So unlike some of the smaller and more relatively not expensive cities in the Edmonton metro area where you do see a lot of younger families in that 25 to 35 range, we do see more middle-aged families here as well. We do have a healthy population anywhere between 25 and 55 but our largest age category is in that 35 to 45 years old, lots of middle age families. Now, one more important thing to know about living in Sherwood Park is that 50% of the people who live here in Sherwood Park work in Sherwood Park, and 50% of the people who live here work elsewhere. Whether that be Edmonton or some of the industrial complexes around the city, there are about half the people who stay and commute within the city, which would be nice, right? and about half the people living here do commute outside of Sherwood Park for their jobs. Now let's jump right into the pros and cons of living in Sherwood Park. Now the first pro that we're gonna talk about is Sherwood Park is a very green city. Now I'm not talking environmentally conscious, although it is very much that as well. But when you're in Sherwood Park, and we're gonna dive into the map tour, you'll see that there are tons of parks and fields, play areas, walking trails that you can enjoy. And I'm not even talking about that. That's obviously a great feature to have, but when you're walking and driving through Sherwood Park, you're gonna notice that there are trees everywhere. Along every street in every neighborhood and community, there are tree-lined streets. So if you want in a city somewhere that you're gonna feel like you're immersed in nature, that you still have all this greenery and that you can go and enjoy the walking trails, the fields, the parks, and everything that the nature within the city has to enjoy, you are definitely gonna find that in Sherwood Park. Now that leads me into the second pro that I'm going to talk about here with Sherwood Park, and that is the amenities. 
Now, the amenities are unparalleled here in Sherwood Park. We talked about Beaumont in our last community highlight series. And we mentioned that in Beaumont, you might not have all the amenities that you need for your day-to-day -day life. You'll have the grocery stores, the restaurants, and some fast food options. But outside of that, if you want shopping or if you want to go to a movie theater, you might not be able to get that in the city. That's not the case here in Sherwood Park. In Sherwood Park, we see that you have all of the features that you need for your everyday life. We have movie theaters, we have a mall, we have all the specialty shopping you can ask for. The only reason to really go into Edmonton is for an Oilers game, a big concert that's coming to the city, or to visit family and friends. Outside of those things, really, you can stay within Sherwood Park and have all the amenities that you need, as it is a bigger city than some of the other cities in the metro area of Edmonton. Now, the third pro that we're going to talk about today is the property taxes. Now, we're going to talk about the housing prices in the cons, right? We are a little more expensive than in Edmonton, but that does offset with the lower property taxes that you're going to be paying here in Strathcona County than you do in the Edmonton metro area. Now, the last pro that we're going to talk about might be my favorite, and that's that there's a strong, small local business culture here in Sherwood Park. Now, this is going to affect you one of two ways. Maybe you're the entrepreneurial type, you're a go-getter, and you'd love to start your own small business. Sherwood Park is going to be very friendly to that. It's a great place to set up and start a small business, and you're going to find a lot of support from the community. And that's the second way that that could impact you. If you're somebody who loves to support local, support local families, local businesses more than the big box stores, you're going to find plenty of opportunities to do that here in Sherwood Park. Now that we've looked at the pros of living in Sherwood Park, let's jump right into the cons. Now I could only find two. There aren't a lot of cons to living in Sherwood Park, but these two might be something that is important to you. Now the first con that we're going to be looking at about living here in Sherwood Park is that it's a little bit more expensive than living in Edmonton. Now, a lot of reasons that people get out to the suburbs of a city is to have more affordable living, and that's not going to be the case here in Sherwood Park. Now, you might not notice a difference with your day-to-day -day groceries, gas, cost of living, but you are going to notice a difference in the housing market. Now, I've gone back 1, 2, 5, 10, 15, 20 years, and on average, you're going to be paying about ten to $20,000 more for a similar single family home in Sherwood Park as you would for that same home in Edmonton. So you are going to notice that the housing costs are just a little bit more expensive here in Sherwood Park as it is a desirable community to live in with lots of amenities. People are willing to pay a little bit more for that same house. Now the second con that we're going to be talking about when it comes to Sherwood Park is that it is half surrounded by some industrial complexes. Now we'll dive into this when we look at our Google Maps tour. But to the north and to the west of Sherwood Park, you're going to see that we do have a lot of industrial space. Now, if you're living on the south side, on the east side of Sherwood Park, if you're commuting and working in Sherwood Park, this probably isn't going to affect your day to day life at all. But if you're living on the north side of Sherwood Park or you do commute into Edmonton frequently, you're going to notice this more often in your day to day life. It's not appealing to the eye. It's not nice to drive by all these industrial complexes. You might also get some unpleasant smells every once in a while if you're living on the north side or even on the west side of Sherwood Park. So that is something to consider before you move here to know the right areas to be if that's going to be a problem for you so that you can avoid that in your day to day life. Now, guys, we're going to jump into the Google Maps tour of Sherwood Park in just a minute. But before we do, I wanted to thank you for sticking around this far so far in the video. I really appreciate it. If you found this content helpful, go ahead and give the video a like. It doesn't cost you anything and it can help other people to find this content as well. Now, again, if you want to be the first to know about the current market conditions in the Edmonton area, including Sherwood Park, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can be the first to know when we post more content about living here and the current market conditions in the Edmonton area. Now let's jump right into the Google Maps tour so that you can get a real visual sense of what it's like to live here in the city. All right, guys. So here we are taking a look at Google Maps of the Edmonton area. Now we see Edmonton here in the middle, pretty hard to miss. And if you take a look just to the east of Edmonton, we do see Sherwood Park. Now you can see that obviously this is the biggest of the cities in the Edmonton metro area and a great size for a city here just next to Edmonton. So one of the pros that I forgot to talk about earlier in the video, but you are going to see that we are easily accessible to all the, the woods and the nature just to the east of the city, including Elk Island National Park, 
which is a popular place for people to go camping, go for day trips, enjoy the nature and the wildlife. Maybe you'll see some bison or some elk out there. Now, if we zoom in here to Sherwood Park, you can see one of the first things that Google Maps wants you to know is there is a Costco. Just like I was telling you, you really have everything you need for your day-to-day -day life here in Sherwood Park. Now, we can see that there are three main ways to get into and out of Sherwood Park from Edmonton. That's going to be at the bottom of the city here on Y Road. This turns into Sherwood Park Freeway, which is a great way to access the city of Edmonton. Right in the middle here, this is Baseline Road, which again connects to a major road here in Edmonton, as you can see. And then at the very top, we're going to have Yellowhead Highway, which is a great way to get out to the mountains, out to the west, out to Jasper, if that's your thing, or come across to Elk Island National Park, as I was mentioning earlier. Now, before we dive into the good stuff, just to let you know, again, we are seeing just north of the Yellowhead Highway up here, and then it cuts across our ring road here in Edmonton, which is the Anthony Henday Drive to the east side of Edmonton and just west of Sherwood Park. This is going to be a lot of industrial area. So you can see that if you're coming into Edmonton and commuting along here, that's definitely going to be hard to miss. We have the Edmonton City Dump up here to the north of Sherwood Park. There's a refinery over here as well to the west. So if that's something, if you're living on the west side of Sherwood Park or the north side, and that's something that's going to bother you, definitely plan ahead. Now, as we look, one of the first things that you're going to see is obviously this massive green space down on the southwest side of Sherwood Park. This is Broadmoor Lake Park. Now here is Broadmoor Lake. You can see that this is a great field and place to enjoy some green space, enjoy the lake, come along, have a picnic, enjoy time with family and friends. We're also gonna have festival place to the right of the lake here. That's an event center where you're gonna be able to catch some smaller concerts, some plays and shows. If you're into the arts at all, this is definitely the place to be. Now, just across the lake from Festival Place, we're going to have a hockey arena here. This is where the junior team in Sherwood Park plays, and also a great way to enjoy some physical activity if hockey or skating is your thing. Now, just to the southwest of Broadmoor Lake, we're going to have a leisure center here and a massive playground just north of it for the kids. So it's a great place to come enjoy the nice hot summer days and enjoy the nature here. Now, just across the road from Broadmoor Lake Park, we're going to see Broadmoor Public Golf Course. I'm a golfer myself. Obviously, it's great to have golf in the city. Probably a little easier to convince your family to let you play more often too, as it's not a huge drive to get out to the course. Now, if we flip to the other side of the road from Broadmoor Lake Park, we're gonna have Sherwood Park Mall, which does have a lot of bigger shopping options like Indigo, Best Buy, Shoppers Drug Mart. We also have a Cineplex Cinemas. If you're a movie person like me, then this is definitely the place for you. Now, as we scroll out of Sherwood Park again, we're going to see that a lot of our shopping options are along Y Road down here, along Baseline in the middle, and then the very top of Sherwood Park. If we scroll down here to Y Road, you'll see that you'll have a Walmart, a London Drugs, a lot of eating options, Original Joe's. We're going to have a Five Guys McDonald's over here. So lots of shopping options along Y Road. If we come up here to Baseline, this is where a majority of the shopping is going to be. You're going to see that you have a Home Depot, Value Village, Party City, Save on Foods. Again, a lot of eating options. One of my favorites here is local public eatery. And then we see that this is also where the Costco is just off of Broadmoor, a baseline road. As we come over here, we see that we have Home Depot, HomeSense, Staples. There's a real Canadian superstore. And a little bit more to the right, the east side of Sherwood Park here, where you're going to have a Shoppers Drug Mart, a Sobeys, and some more eating options as well. We go all the way to the top of Sherwood Park up here. This is where the Strathcona Community Hospital is going to be up at the top of Sherwood Park. You're going to have a Walmart, a Winners, a Canadian Tire, the Keg. Again, lots of shopping and amenities here in Sherwood Park. Now, the last thing that we're going to notice is going to be this massive space over here. This is Millennium Place. Now, if you want to see more of Millennium Place, if you want to get a more visual sense of what it's like to live in Sherwood Park, I'm going to link a vlog tour that we did of Sherwood Park at the end of the video. So make sure you stick around for that. You can watch that afterwards where I go and take a walking tour through Sherwood Park. You can see a lot of these places in person. But Millennium Place is a massive recreation center here on the northwest side of Sherwood Park. As you can see, we have a lot of baseball diamonds over here, some massive soccer fields. There's a good amount of shopping around Millennium Place as we scroll in here. As we scroll in a little bit further, you're going to see that this is Millennium Place itself. Now, Millennium Place Huge recreation center. We have lots of NHL-sized ice rinks. We have basketball courts, a massive pool, 
if I click on here, you're going to see it's, it's not your state of the art, you know, normal swimming pool at a recreation center. This has lots of features for the kids. It's got a great enjoyable, enjoyable vibe for the family. So millennium place is definitely the place to be. If you want to get in some activity by yourself with the family, with the friends, that's the place to be. Now there is Sherwood park. Again, thank you guys for sticking around to the end of the video. If you found it helpful, give it a like. And if you want to be the first to know about the current market conditions in the Edmonton area, then definitely subscribe to the channel. We are trying to bring you as much value as we can. Now, thank you guys for sticking around for this one. If you want to see the vlog tour, if you want to actually see the nitty and the gritty of being in Sherwood Park, get a more in-depth look, then definitely click on this video up here so you can see the vlog tour. And if not, we will see you guys in the next one.